Your award-winning hometown news team. Building bridges to peace. The Bank of Montreal celebrates. And Event Horizon is it worth the this trip? This is Channel 3 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Shelley McCrugan. More than a dozen young men and women from Northern Ireland have come to Southern Alberta to learn more about their own people. They're taking part in an intensive five-day seminar on conflict resolution sponsored by a Lethbridge organization called Bridges. It's hoped when they return home, their participants will be able to use their new mediation skills to help deal with conflicts in their own communities. Terry Vogt reports. All of these young adults are members of a group called Voluntary Service Belfast. Fast. They'll return home to work with other people their own age. Because it's easier to address someone else's conflict. They also have something else in common. They all have first-hand experience with conflict. Uh, even people my age group um, have never known peace in the north of Ireland. Do you know, it's always been a disruptive type situation for one reason or the other. Organizers like Frank uh, Dooley say the participants are all open-minded, but they're also extremely sensitive about who they are and where they come from. So when the local paper referred to the group as Irish, some of the participants were anxious to set the record straight. One of the biggest issues within Northern Ireland is that we have two nationalities. We have people who um, align themselves with, the, with um, being British and those who would prefer to be um, referred to as Irish. We actually have the option to own two passports, and quite a lot of people do. And the group that have come today, some have travelled on Irish passports, some have travelled on British passports. It's not upsetting. It's more of a... Uh if I, if you came over to, to our country and somebody said to you, uh, like, oh, there's an American, what would be your first reaction? There is Irish people on the course, but we're not all Irish. We're British and Irish, and that's just the way it is. Because of the way it is, Stephen McMaster and Ruth Ann Wilkinson don't normally associate with Catholics in Northern Ireland. They've seldom even been to Catholic areas of Belfast. Organizers say taking this group out of that setting is an important part of what they're trying to accomplish. Organizers say most of the people in Belfast have never known real peace. They say part of the reason to bring these participants to southern Alberta is to show them that living with barbed wire and army patrols does not have to be a normal way of life. Over here, it just seems to be a lot more relaxed, I think, and everybody seems to be a lot friendlier than it would be in Northern Ireland. These young men and women say they love their country, that they would never want to live anywhere else. But they also believe what they learn here can be used back home to help them make Northern Ireland a better place to live. Terry Vogt, Channel 3 News. Bridges is a volunteer group that coordinates and organizes billeting, meals, activities, and course instruction for the participants. Many Lethbridge businesses donate supplies, and the Royal Canadian Legion provides vans for transportation. The organization is still seeking public donations to help pay the $15,000 cost of organizing this year's session.